The master teacher of JESUS through this brief analysis of chapters 1 through 7 in Luke, it is evident that Jesus used various teaching methods to instruct people. A more thorough investigation of all the chapters would demonstrate the amazing way in which Jesus was able to communicate the truths of his message. According to Les Nixon, several key facets are found in Jesus' teaching methods. First, Jesus used symbolism. Symbolism, as defined by Nixon, explains one thing by comparing it to another. In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus uses symbolism in his Sermon on the Plain. For example, he talks about good fruit, bad fruit, and having a mote in the eye. Second, Jesus used the compare and contrast method. He compared one thing to another. In the Gospel of Luke, this is best seen in his parables, comparing a seed to the Word of God or a lamp to the light of a Christian's life. Third, Jesus used concise stories and parables. Throughout the Gospel of Luke, Jesus utilized parables to teach the deep truth of God and life. Parables such as the Good Samaritan and the Shrewd Accountant are renowned in their style and impact. Fourth, Jesus used logic and reason. Clifford Wilson notes that the events in Jesus' story of Lazarus and the rich man, LK 16, follow each other clearly and in a logical pattern. Hearers had no trouble in following the events and drawing conclusions Jesus intended. Fifth, Jesus used plot, climax, and resolution again. In the story of Lazarus, one can sense the plot, Lazarus versus the rich man, the climax, the rich man watching Lazarus, comma, and the climax resolution, the teaching and moral resolution to the parable. Sixth, Jesus used poetry, including such elements as parallelism, truth conveyed in couplets, triplets, and so on. The Beatitudes in Luke 6 verses 20 to 26. Synonymous parallelism, each line expresses the same truth, but in a different way, he that is not with me is against me. And he that gathereth not with me scattereth. Luke 11 verse 23. KJV, antithetic parallelism, succeeding lines express opposite truth, he that finds life shall lose it. He that loses his life for my sake shall find it, and step parallelism, development in each successive line. Seventh, Jesus used metaphor, a word picture whereby something is described by calling it something else. Simile, a word picture in which one thing is likened to another, usually by the use of as or like. Hyperbole, where a moral is taught by vivid imagery or overstatement. Analogy, a relation of likeness between two things. And allegory, a form of speech in which the spiritual meaning of the story is woven into the telling of the story. Eighth, Jesus used humor. Elton Trueblood, in his book, The Humor of Christ, discusses Christ's use of humor in parables and teaching. Emphasizing the cultural context of sayings such as a camel through the eye of a needle, 